Ooh, Razer released a new Viper Mini. Wait, it costs how much? Ooh, new games? Oh, it's just another remaster of old ones. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to CCTV, Canada Computer's Tech Vision. Last episode, we covered Hogwarts Legacy and Sons of the Forest, as well as some updates on the PSVR 2. The tech world moves fast, so that's why we're here to cover anything you missed. Let's go. Starting off with the Razer Viper Mini Expensive Edition. I mean, uh, sorry. I mean, Signature Edition. Coming in at a whopping $379.99 Canadian, you might be thinking, what makes this mouse worth that high price tag? Well, it's made out of magnesium alloy and weighs only 49 grams. It's Razer's lightest mouse. It has a unique exoskeleton design instead of your standard honeycomb design. Some people hate it. Others just don't mind it. Reviews have said it's actually a solid mouse, great performance when gaming, and battery life can last about 60 hours. It will take about 90 minutes for a full charge. But if $379.99 is just way too much for a mouse, personally, I think it is. Other similar options are the Death Adder V2 Pro Wireless Mouse or the Razer Basilisk Hyperspeed Wireless are both great choices. But if you want to stay loyal within the Viper family, then the OG Viper Mini is also available. I'll link the ones that we have in the description below. If you're a sucker for nostalgia and a big fan of Nintendo, then this news will be music to your ears. Nintendo will be adding Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games to their Switch online services. Games like Super Mario 2, Wario World 3, and Kirby Dream Lands, and much more. Now these games were a little bit before my time, and honestly, I'm just kind of tired of this whole remake era. I mean, how many movies are just remakes or sequels? Not to mention other gaming companies doing the exact same thing just for profit. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sure, it's cool to relive your childhood, but at what point is it just laziness from companies? What about new games? New experiences? I mean, hell, Nintendo just remade Wii Sports. Now this? Is Nintendo just desperate to compete with the big boys again? Or are they just out of ideas? What do you guys think? Are you excited to play your favorite Game Boy games again? Or do you want something more new? That's it from me guys. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot to us. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.